I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like uh, my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now today this 40 years old male patient uh, came with complaints of redness, watering, foreign body sensation, photophobia and gradual decrease of vision in both eyes. Now when I glanced uh, at it, I thought it's bacterial conjunctivitis but when I examined him on slit lamp, uh, and saw opacification of both uh, corneas right more than left uh, and then he also gave me history of frequent upper lid epilation and I saw aberrant lashes as well as misdirected lashes uh, upper lid entropions uh, and upon upper lid eversion uh, found alt line horizontal uh, palpable conjectival scarring uh, as well as uh, some concretions um, and uh, you can clearly see these changes here and you can see the change of position of the base of eyelashes so in this patient we have got all stages of trachoma intense inflammation eyelid scarring trichiasis and corneal opacification now that's a classical case of trachoma and now the most important step uh, is uh, to correct the upper lid entropion so that the cornea is prevented from further scarring you can see the opacification and now that's the other eye here also you can appreciate the arlet line um, and the you can see the eyelash bases eyelash bases migration um, and corneal opacification is less as compared to the right eye. So uh, entropion correction is must to relieve his uh, symptoms. Now along with surgical correction, um, medical treatment, gel at night, artificial tears uh, during the daytime, uh, steroid antibiotic drops two to three times uh, should be prescribed. Um, you can also give him um, azithromycin now usually these later stages of entropion and corneal opacification occur in old age but surprisingly here you can clearly see these in this young 40 years old male patient in both eyes uh, you can see horizontal band of palpebral conjunctival scarring alt line and migration of the eyelash bases and concretions now all these psychiatricial changes uh, cause misdirection of the lashes posteriorly and uh, when these lashes rub against the cornea they cause corneal inflammation and ultimately corneal opacification now one ophthalmologist advised him keratoplasty of right eye now car um, because uh, corneal opacification is more in the right eye but first you need to remove the stimulus causing opacification and then when the eye becomes white and quiet you can go for corneal grafting but in such a condition if you perform corneal grafting it will fail within days so I advised him and I performed uh, one eye upper lid entropion correction and you can see the post-op picture of uh, upper lid entropion I have uh, done tarsal tarsal wedge resection and uh, I will do other eye after one week and then we will see how the patient uh, responds uh, how the corneal opacification um, whether it improves or not or we have to do further surgical intervention thank you very much